This training video looks at how to recover your boat back to a beach. It follows on from our single-handed beach launching video. To recap, the wind can blow onshore, crossshore and offshore. Whatever the wind direction, it's vital to approach the beach slowly, controlling your speed by flapping the sail. Keep a lookout for swimmers and other water users. And to finally stop yourself, you should turn the boat deliberately into the no-go zone and step ashore. To recover the boat onto its trolley, get a friend to help you. One of you holds the boat in the water whilst the other retrieves the trolley. Then simply float the boat onto the trolley and secure it with the painter if you have one. And then pull the boat clear of the water. But be careful of where you step because it could be slippery. Let's first look at returning to a beach where the wind is blowing onshore. You must avoid coming ashore with the wind behind you like this under full sail as you won't be able to control your speed. And there's a risk you can damage the boat. You should therefore approach the beach on a broad reach point of sailing. On approaching the beach, keep a good lookout for swimmers and other water users and raise the centreboard to stop you from running aground. Also, raise the rudder, but keep the tip in contact with the water to allow it to still work. Control your speed by releasing the main sheet to make the mainsail flap. At the last minute, turn the boat back into the no-go zone to stop you. You can then step ashore. The boat is then recovered onto the trolley as explained earlier. Let's now look at returning to a cross-shore wind beach. This is where the wind is blowing parallel to the beach. This is probably the easiest beach to land on as you simply sail straight in. When you're about 10 metres away from the beach, you must then release the main sheet so that the sail flaps to slow you down and then raise the rudder and centreboard to stop you from running aground. Then, travelling slowly, approach the beach and step ashore. The boat is then recovered onto the trolley and returned to shore. Let's finally look at an offshore beach, which is where the wind is blowing away from the shore. You won't be able to point the boat straight at the beach here as you'll enter the no-go zone and be blown away from the shore if you do. You should approach the beach on a close hauled point of sailing, being careful to keep clear of the no-go zone. Approach the beach slowly by making the sail flap to control your speed. When you're about 10 metres away from the shore, half raise the centreboard and raise the rudder, but keep the tip in contact with the water so it still works. And sail slowly towards the beach, adjusting your speed by releasing and tightening the mainsail as necessary. When the water is shallow enough, let the sail out fully, raise or remove the rudder and centreboard and step ashore. You can then recover the boat onto the trolley as explained previously, keeping the nose of the boat pointing into the wind. Common mistakes. Not controlling your speed. You'll approach too fast and you run the risk of crashing into the beach, which will cause damage to the boat. Not lifting the rudder blade and centreboard. This will make you run aground before it's shallow enough to step over the side. Not turning into the no-go zone to stop the boat. If you don't, the sail will still be under power and again you risk damage to the boat. Misjudging the depth of water before you step ashore. This becomes a man overboard situation and the boat could sail away from you. Key learning points. Approach the beach slowly by releasing the mainsail so that it flaps. Raise the rudder and centreboard to stop them hitting the bottom. When the wind is blowing onshore, approach the beach on a broad reach point of sailing. When the wind is blowing cross-shore, approach the beach on a beam reach point of sailing. When the wind is blowing offshore, approach the beach on a close hauled point of sailing, being careful to keep clear of the no-go zone. In all situations, continue to sail in slowly. To finally stop yourself, you should turn the boat deliberately into the no-go zone. 
When it's shallow enough, step ashore and get a friend to help you recover the boat onto the trolley, keeping the nose pointing into the wind at all times. Next steps. Watch this video as many times as is necessary to be comfortable with what is required to return to shore. If required, use the script and glossary accompanying this video to help you.